Hi, Nancy Marshall Genser with Marketplace. Chair Paul, um, you said you're waiting to become more confident that inflation is getting to your 2% goal before you cut rates. Can you just sum up more specifically what data you're looking at that would give you that confidence? Sure. So we're most importantly, we're looking at the incoming inflation data and the contents of it and what they're telling us. So that'll be, and also the, the various components. So obviously that's what we want. We want more confidence that inflation uh, is coming down sustainably toward 2%. Uh, and I mean, it, it, of course, we'll also be looking at all the other things that are happening in the economy. We'll look at the totality of the data, including everything essentially, as we make that assessment. But the most important thing will be the inflation data that coming in. Well, are there things that you would give more weight to, like wages? Wages is one thing. We don't. Our, our target is not wages. It's really inflation. We w but we would we would look to the fact that um, wages are still coming in very strong. But but they've been wage increases. That is to say, wage increases have been have been quite strong. But they're they're gradually coming down to levels that uh, are more sustainable over time. And and that's what we want. Uh, we don't think that the inflation was not originally caused, we think, I don't think, by, by mostly by, by wages. That wasn't really the story. Um, but we do think that to get inflation back down to 2 percent sustainably, we'd like to see, you know, continuing gradual movement of wage increases at, at still high levels, but back down to levels that are, that are more sustainable over time. 